We're in Home Goods, and they've rearranged a lot. They've made a ton of room up front, and they've really cleared out a lot. And I'm wondering if it's not because um, they're getting ready to put uh, Christmas stuff out. It would not surprise me at all if they're not getting ready for, for Christmas stuff. They've sold quite a bit of, um, of Halloween decorations. It's like an angel face, isn't it? It is an angel face, yeah. It's more angel. That, well, she does have wings like an angel. That's true. But they have sold, I mean, when the stuff comes in, you have to get it early because it sells very quickly. They have tons of pumpkins, so whatever color you're looking for, they have a lot here to choose from. They have this whole side of pumpkins with pumpkins and like even they have like a different shaped gourd right there. But then over here on this side, they have lots more pumpkins. Kevin found a Christmas themed cutting board. Is that one Christmas too? Yeah, it's just a board. Yeah. So you see you got Santa's helper. This is what I've talked about with these batter bowls. They're really, really nice because you can put your mixes in them and then you have a spout and you have a handle. So you, you can hold the handle if you're right-handed. You can hold the handle with your, right, with your left hand and then stir with your right hand. And they're really, really nice. I'm gonna let the plate come in real quick. Okay, yeah. So this is just kind of a owl with just different stuff in it. Weird stuff, random stuff. We're in Target and Kevin spotted this Sonic the Hedgehog Lego set. I don't think we've ever seen that before. It's $70. I wonder how much it is on Amazon because he would love that figure. I know he would. The figure. The figure. And they have a Santa's visit. Yeah, look at the Back to Future car. They actually have more sets um, at the Target we normally go to than they do here. But uh, Kevin saw that Sonic and wanted to come look. Yeah, they have more at uh, the one that we normally go to. So they already have their advent calendars out. They have the mini brands, Disney Store Edition, Play-Doh, Pokemon. I was just talking about advent calendars in last week's vlog, and here they are here this week. So Target has all of their um, Halloween stuff out. A lady just passed me eating a box of Halloween Junior Mints. And I swear to you, she'll probably eat all those in the store and then put the box down somewhere. Do I think she's going to pay for those? No, I do not. But she was sure eating them. I, I don't think I've seen that before. That's, that's not something that's common. So they're still getting their decorations out, it looks like. But they do have, like, some of their mixes. Little monsters mixes, their balls, stuff like that. So I'm trying to take some pictures and post, I'll post some of these to Instagram. But this was the box of Junior Mints that woman was eating. I mean, literally just walking around eating them. But they have all kinds of chips and candy to give out for Halloween. We are in Joanne's Fabric, and they have all kinds of fabric for Halloween. And they also have these little uh, simplicity patterns uh, so that you can make your own costumes. And then they have, my sister would like these pumpkins. She's really into the, the striped stuff. And so she would, she would really like these. Oh, adult costumes. Looks like they have uh, quite a big section up here of, of stuff. Do you want to look in the next aisle? Oh, wow. They are, yes, you're right. They are getting out their Christmas stuff. 
So we came in here to look for Halloween, but they're getting out Christmas. So I came in here to show you Halloween, and I'm actually gonna show you some Christmas. This is uh, the Christmas ornaments that they put up. I like this one, and that's heavier than you would think. It's um, $9.99. Look at this. Hold on. Oh, I've got one like that, but it's smaller than that. Yeah, it's smaller than that. This is cute. Like a cookie sheet with cookies. This is what I was wanting to show you is all this Halloween. Okay, why don't you go down that way? Yeah, we can look at the Halloween stuff. They definitely have things, um, I like that pillow, it says Frog's Breath. They definitely have things that I have not seen anywhere else. Uh, so, like, they have these trees, and then the ornaments up here to put in the trees. Oh, that's neat. I actually would like this stuff. I like this stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like all the, the moon and stars and stuff like that. But there's little ornaments. So if you wanted to have a tree out all the time, you absolutely could. The dust and cobwebs in our house just become decorations. Um, Thanks, Halloween. Uh, I thought that the, when you went out the other day for work and there were the natural cobwebs on the bushes out front, um, that's exactly what I thought. I thought, yep, that looks like, uh, looks like one. So this stuff is for fall. This is like a coffin shaped uh, shelf up here. And then there's a sign that says, I turn back if I were you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of things here that I that I've never seen. Look at the candle holders. Mm -hmm. They look like a bird's. Oh yeah. Okay, we don't need to. We can go straight. Just wait, and we'll go straight. Ooh, this is a pretty towel. Haunted Hollow. That's really pretty. Oh yeah, a hunting we will go, it says. So they have more pillows here. The most frightful time of the year. There's a long pillow, Happy Halloween. Oh, I love that one. Wing a bat. But I tell you what, I have enough pillows to where I really don't need to be buying any more pillows. And they have plates. Oh wow, they have stuff. Oh look at this, this is nice. Jennifer, that's the kind of thing she would like um, in on her front porch. And then they have all kinds of flower arrangements. I mean, this whole section usually does not have all those flower arrangements over there. And there, that's all that's over there. There's tons of pumpkins and... Oh, yeah. The Day of the Dead stuff. Oh, those are neat. Cookie stamp. And those are for ice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we bought the spider we put on the outside of our house. We got it years and years ago at Garden Ridge. And you know what? It has held up really well. Oh my gosh, that's weird. It's a mermaid. It's a mermaid. 
It, um, I'm just thinking, what would Amelia think if she saw that? She would not like that because she loves mermaids. Um, but it's held up really well to the abuse that I've put it through. Because I just shove its legs and don't treat it very well for sure. Kevin, I even see some uh, Christmas over there. Oh, look at the wreaths. Oh, yeah. Look at these wreaths for Halloween. Aren't those cute? Wreaths are so expensive. It's amazing how much they cost. $30, so you basically that. Oh, that's that's not bad, but you have to have a lot of that. Yeah. Are you gonna go on back? I think it's mainly for candy and stuff. They have a really nice section over here for like the the cricket, and they also have a section back here where they have classes. Yeah, I mean it's really nice. It's amazing how much money you could spend on this stuff. Oh, to paint your own. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little witch. That's cute. And I guess this is little projects you can get for your class or whatever. Oh, yeah. That's nice because. Uh, I know, like, actually, teachers have to uh, print all that stuff out themselves and cut it and all that. Yeah, this is all cut. I bet you uh, Michaels has a bunch of this stuff out, too. They have, like, candy stuff here. See the space over there if you have a class. But this is, like, uh, those melts. We actually reviewed some of these melts on the channel, and they're delicious. Like to eat them by themselves with nothing with them. Um, they were flavored. Now, these are colors, but the ones that we bought were actually flavored. Like they had a peanut butter flavor and, I don't know, cookies and cream or something like that. These are, are just colors here. So, they have shimmer fondant. I didn't know they had stuff like that. Okay, let me. Look at all these different yeah. pictures on See, Ashley doesn't get to do a Halloween party at her school. Look at all the yarn. There's Kevin's section back there, the yarn. Oh, look, flavor burst. Blueberry and, and birthday cake. Oh, they have cinnamon streusel and rainbow. And I guess they're, it looks like little, uh, it feels like confetti. And you can put it on top of cupcakes or something and it has that flavor in it. That's pretty cool. They have all kinds of stuff. I give, I bet if you make your own birthday cakes though or cookies or something like that, if you have a shop, this is where you would come to get different stuff. Look at this, black and gold stars. And they have a whole section, we didn't go over there, but they have a whole section of uh, toys. Toys, uh, painting stuff. Kevin, do they sell metal art here? Because it looks like they would. Uh, well, they have those diamond, those diamond things. Yeah, I doubt it. See, back there is uh, uh, toys. Uh, oh, Potter. look, yeah, Harry Potter diamond dots. Here's a Central Park. This one is um, like a Christmas village. This is for Christmas. Yeah, but they have a bunch right there of those diamond dots. I don't know if they'd sell those or not here. Oh gosh, they have a ton of yarn. Okay, look at this big thing. That is a huge sewing machine or something. I don't know what that is, but it is big. 
So they have this stuff out for Christmas. And then down here, they had some, um, some socks I'll show to you. They have these socks. If you've got it on it. <laughs> so here's another one of these machines. It's $5,742. Quilting machine. So it does the quilt long stitcher. Oh, okay. So they have more Halloween stuff. Stuff that you can paint yourself and put in your yard. And then more uh, decorative pumpkins. And then they have some haunted houses down here. Oh, look, Kevin, those make the... Oh, the cookies. Yeah. And then they have a bunch Another of pizza. cookie cutters, the mold. spatulas, yeah, skull mold. They have a brain mold up there. And then plates, napkins. There's some really cute plates. They also had these that you could put out in your yard. I don't know if I showed those or not. They also have these plates. It's never too early for Halloween. I really like these. I like the theming of this. The frog's breath. It matches their pillows and everything. It looks really cool. And then they also have some Halloween stuff in the checkout. Um, some candy, Pez. We bought those, reviewed those. In Tuesday morning, they have some Christmas pillows. So they have this one with the gnomes. This one says Santa Claus, the North Pole. And then they have some with snowflakes. They have some birds. They have some blankets, some throws. Yeah, those are really pretty. I've never seen dogs like that before. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very pretty. That's pretty. Oh yeah, they have... Oh wow. They do have some beautiful ornaments. Did you see the bells down here? This says it lights up. Yep, like that. Oh yeah. Does it feel like he's plastic? No, because that's... Oh, here's some little Halloween things right up here. Yeah, here's some Halloween things here. There's some like cookies for your dogs. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, 
But don't you think those are mainly for decoration and not to use? I think I'm ready, Kev. I think we're ready. Ashley made dinner uh, for us. Hopefully you watched last week's vlog because she, uh, uh, we had dinner over here several times last week. Yeah, daughter of the year. Yeah, daughter of the year. <laughs> uh, so she made pork chops and rolls and baked macaroni and cheese and corn. Oh, she also made mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna show you Kevin's plate. Ignore all the food. Uh, because I don't eat mashed potatoes, but her mashed potatoes look really, really good. That, that cat eats well. That is a huge cat. I think every, uh, that cat's gained a lot of weight since you've lived here. No, he hasn't. He's yes. That size. Actually, he, he let is. let me take him up the other day. He's huge. Yeah, he is. Hold on here. The coloring on Come here. the fur looks like a Will rug. you let me pick you up again? Okay. Put me down. It's just a few fleas on you. I like him. Now listen, I'm not feeding you tonight. We're gonna have dessert. This is what he does, he'll stand at my door. So Ashley, we're having dessert now. And this looks like a lemon cake. Ashley hasn't told us what it is yet. It is in fact. It a is bunt a lemon bunt cake with, it looks like vanilla icing. Cream cheese. Cream cheese frosting. Uh, Tam Tammy uh, had a friend visit. I mean, friendly. Extremely friendly. I mean, this cat wants attention. <laughs> yes. 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 And she's uh, so much. This is belongs to somebody. Oh, yeah. I wonder who They just let it out for the day. I would never, ever, ever let my cat out. We In a neighborhood with a busy live, street. We live on a main road. And um, when I was little and we first moved into this house, um, I had a cat. And uh, mom and dad let the cat out. The cat ran across the street and got killed. Um, because, you know, cats don't know anybody. So I would never in a million years let my cat outside. And so it surprises me that somebody would do that. This cat is like a loving as it can be. Like I want to keep this cat. <laughs> um, this is a great cat. But now, because it goes outside all the time. Oh, uh, it would be very unhappy. I bet it would be, yeah, very unhappy inside. She's very, very aggressive and playful. Like she will put, Probably young. She will put her hands on her paws on you. Yes. Yes. Are you tired of me, no? And pitch black. I don't see any light white on it at all. Not at all. But she's beautiful. But we don't have any food to give her, so I can't feed her. Now Ashley, Ashley feeds her. feeds the cats that come to her house. We just don't have any food to give her, I would. You think you're gonna go in there? Oh, I know, it's so sad. So sad. We had a black and white cat over here uh, yesterday. We didn't come out and greet it, but it was no. it was sitting on our porch for a long time. Yeah, and yeah, it looked like a cow, a cow friend. 
we have two boxes to open for you. This one is from Joshua. Joshua lives in Texas, and he let me know that this was coming. So I actually know what's in the box. I did take the I label don't. off of it. It didn't. It didn't have any uh, anything tape or anything on it. It was just like this. It's from Collin Street Bakery. It says baked in Corsicana, Texas since 1896. These are uh, petites. They're cake bites with pecans and candied fruit. Joshua told me they were like mini fruit cakes, mm. like miniature fruit cakes. Like and he said they are very well known in Texas. And he said they're very, very delicious. And he thought we would really enjoy the petites. Yeah, so, I love a fruit cake. Thank really. you. Yes, thank you. Uh, the box said that it was a perishable, but um, um, I, I don't. This doesn't seem like the type of thing you would put in no, the refrigerator. I don't think so. Maybe um, just don't let it sit there for a month. Yeah, yeah, oh no, I won't let it sit here. I'm for saying that, that's what they mean, probably. Yes, but the box did say perishable, but I'm not. Uh, it's www.collins, C O L L I N, street.com. So thank you very much, Joshua. I'm glad that made it here safely. And then this is from Sarah. Mm -hmm. Sarah in Arkansas. Okay. Ah! <laughs> But I might know what it is. Okay. You can't eat it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you know. What Sarah, that. Yes. They're all. But yes. Okay. Hi, Tammy. I have been following your channel for several years now. I usually just watch and like, rarely comment. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and your videos help me get through the day. Thank you. Um, our local library had a book sale, and I got these for you and Kevin while I was there. Your cooking videos are my favorite to watch. I hope you guys enjoy them. Your friend Sarah. Um, I love cookbooks. Love cookbooks. And, and Sarah contacted me, and I was thrilled to that point. She told me that she was going to be sending us some books. And... Um, cookbooks are so fun because I take my little sticky pad and take them out on the couch and while we're watching TV I'm going through mm -hmm. the the cookbooks to say I, I turned right to a pumpkin cake literally banana nut cake fudge cake now this one says nutritious and delicious this one says whole wheat so we ignore those we, we just we I was see gonna that. say is this we a see healthy? that and keep going <laughs> <laughs> no it might hey it, it's it, an Amish it's an Amish cookbook yeah um, so I love stuff like this. Oh my gosh, they have a song in here. Okay, so there's the Authentic Amish Cookbook. And then we have Famous Favorites. Family. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was guessing at what the word was. Family Favorites uh, from Country Kitchens. Farm Journal. Farm Journal, where do you see that? Oh, from collected and of, tested by the food editors of Farm Journal. I've never yeah, heard, never of, heard Farm of Farm Journal. Journal. <laughs> no, never heard of that before. Mm -hmm. This looks old. 1973. And I was born in 72 and I called it old. <laughs> so, old yeah. for a book. Yeah, this is the type of pictures you get in there. I like that picture on the back. We're dipping something in something. It looks like queso or something, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks. Oh, I know that it's actually looks like a marshmallow. That's uh -huh. pretty good. Yeah, more than 450 outstanding tried and true dishes. Okay, then we have uh, the Ultimate Route 66 Cookbook. Oh, this will be cool. I don't even know that there's much left on Route 66 mm. um, at all, but this is neat. Uh, rise and shine, munchies and light bites, dinner delights, simple sides, soda fountain fun is one section. Okay, so I that'll be fun. Uh, good housekeeping, best recipes from 1999. And you could tell this is actually a library book by the jacket, and it's huge, uh, which is fine with me. And of course, 1999. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Berry banana cream tart. I like these kind of cookbooks. Uh, some 
have that as well, but I like they have a lot of pictures in these. I like a lot of Although pictures. There's, there's some that don't have pictures. Yeah, so. yeah, um, yeah. A lot of these do, but uh, some of them don't. Uh, pumpkin spice cake once again. Uh, leeks vinaigrette. Hmm. That'll probably be one out. But like under vegetables and side salads. So. You know, that's probably my least looked at is the vegetables. <laughs> um, now that looks delicious. Veggie enchiladas. Mm -hmm. That looks really, really good. Okay. So, I will. Ha that even smells like a library book. I love the smell of old books. Old book. That smells like a library book. Newman's own cookbooks. Oh, this is from Paul Newman. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. And this was a library book. You know, well, I, use books come from I don't think I've ever checked out cookbooks from a library. Mm -hmm. you thought about it. Why haven't I done that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this one is well, from... Well, you like to hold on to it. Right? I do. I like to hold on to it. I like to write in them. I like to put notes in them. Um, I even... Um, I have one right now from my sister, and I have one from... Uh, some from Ashley. And I haven't written in their books because they're their books. But <laughs> I've taken uh, post-it notes. And stuck and, them in there. And I've stuck post-it notes in there with my own, my own stuff so that they'll know if they make them what my thoughts were because we kind of you know we like the same stuff and i'm thinking you know if i can tweak it a little bit and make it better then i so they'll get yeah, surprises when they get their books back they're gonna get my notes <laughs> this was uh, 98 yeah 1998 and cornmeal squares with salsa butch's wild west tex-mex salad now that sounds like a good salad newman's white cap pizza uh, let's see. Uh, Brutus's Lamb Tangine Marrakesh. Is that what that says? Mm -hmm. I'll right. tell you what, his name and face is on just about every section of the grocery store. Yes, that's the truth. Okay, and this Southern Living 1985 Annual Recipes. It's like Christmas. Um, it does. Well, there's a lot of Christmas on there. Uh, it, it, yeah, really, it, it is. I it says from every these. month, though. Every single recipe, month by month. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, this way, if you don't have the magazines... Yeah, uh, you don't care anything about the articles and all that stuff, you can just buy this. And get yes, the you they sure They probably can. don't do this anymore. You don't think of course, they, they might put the recipes online. Well, they do. I'm sure they put them online, but I don't, I don't, uh, I know well. in the newer magazines, I do not see submitted recipes. Right. I'm wondering if all the recipes in here were actually tried in their kitchens for them to end up in the cookbook. Mm -hmm. No, these are submitted. So see, these are submitted and I would think if they were going to do the newer ones, it's all going to be out of their kitchen that they've tried. Mm -hmm. So they had a section, I just passed it, called Microwave Cookery. <laughs> well, in the 80s, microwaves were still kind of Cookery. Uh, we, we didn't use the microwave. We bought the microwave. Um, I'm talking about my family. I don't know about Kevin's family, but I remember buying this special. It was this big, it was a great big, thick plastic thing, and it had all these grooves in it, and you were supposed to lay bacon on it, and that was to microwave your bacon. I think mom tried that once, and it does not, it's not like frying it, for sure. No. It's not going to get crispy. I said neighbors. We never did it, but neighbors would fry hamburgers in them. Really? Microwave hamburgers. Yeah, they would take just patty out hamburgers, put them on Raw this, hamburgers. Yeah, put them on this plate and microwave them and cook them, but they were like gray. <laughs> they weren't, they had no sear on them or anything. Gray. Yeah, Nobody wants a gray hamburger, but we... We really, even growing up once we had it, we did not use the microwave very much. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, I don't use it very much. I think Kevin I, uses I it. I eat food um, more than anything. Because Kevin does those lunchtime reviews. And, uh, so I remember my mom and dad, though, they got one of the first microwaves that came out. It was monstrous. And it went above the refrigerator, I mean the stove, and it was huge. And um, the, one of the selling points was you could, bake, you could microwave a whole turkey in it. 
And it had like a little wow. meat, it had the meat thermometer in there that plugged in and you could put the meat thermometer in your meat and sensor cook it to a certain temperature. And really? Yeah, Dad did liked they to, do it? Dad liked to spend a lot of money on stuff that he would never use. Oh, and so they he, didn't do he it. Never did that. Because I would never, even, I mean, right now, I would never microwave a turkey. I mean, I like, I like it. like to dry it out. Yeah, I, I, I can bake a turkey. Um, I mean, it's really, really simple to bake a turkey. I have no idea why you would mm -hmm. want to microwave one. That just, that seems senseless to this me. This says use frozen fruit in a dessert. And, and it's got like a little oh, yeah. barb in it. Snowflake pudding. That mm. sounds neat. Snowflake pudding. Well, I will uh, I will enjoy these very, very much. Uh, so thank you. I, um, I usually uh, don't even, they don't even hit the shelf. They get looked at immediately. Uh, so like tonight, I'll be looking at these on the couch. But thank you very much. And Joshua, thank you for the little petites. We can't wait to, to review these. This will be so much fun. We have some boxes to open and you all haven't heard this name for a while. Dr. J in the UK has sent us a couple of boxes. Dr. J's been busy. Dr. J has moved. Um, I won't tell you where he's living now because he might not want me to tell you, but I can tell you that it's a place we visited on a bus trip when we were over there. Looks like it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere, it yes. Could be, and it could be Scotland. And we well, we right went. Show any we went on a long bus trip. We went on, but we've also gone on day trips over there, so we could literally be a lot of places. But it's a very, it's a famous place, and it's a beautiful place. And I think Dr. J is really enjoying it. I'm wondering if he's going to enjoy it so much when it gets uh, colder outside, because... Uh, it's all cold. It, yeah, well, it, it, it's going to get cold. Okay. Oh, wow. This looks like boxes. Oh, you gave your receipt to or do. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, B&M. He went to B&M. Um, Foxes. These are limited edition British pudding collection. Jelly and custard, lemon meringue tart, peach melba, and our delicious mystery flavor. Guess the mystery flavor. That'll be so much fun. And then we have Terry's Chocolate Orange Snowballs. Um, I think it's, it's funny to me that when probably towards the end of July. Usually you find Halloween stuff coming out in the United States. That's just how it works in July. And I always get comments from British people on my Instagram that say, oh, I can't believe they're getting the Halloween stuff out so early. It's way too early. But the British people think nothing of getting the Christmas stuff out. Right now. In September. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, in September. Right August when he got the Yeah, well, they start, I start seeing the Christmas stuff in August. So it's the same thing. It's the same, everybody's, you know, has their own uh, time that they get stuff out, but it's the same thing. Uh, but I love seeing the Christmas stuff. This is Cadbury Mini Snowballs. Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate with Micro Mini Snowball Pieces. That's exciting. Cadbury Plant Bar uh, made with almonds. And this is made with, this is salted caramel. So this one is just chocolate and this one is salted caramel. They, I have not seen any of these. So this is awesome. Uh, Milky Way Biscuits. Oh, uh, wait, here's another Cadbury. Oh. Uh, Cadbury uh, Dairy Milk Biscuit and two more, and, two more. <laughs> and these are Wisp of Gold these are limited edition salted caramel bars he found all this at B&M he did good uh, so Milky Way Biscuits and these are Minion Jammy Dodgers Bananas oh that'll be awesome to try you talk about something rare um, I bet they've never done banana before, and that will be very, very interesting, mm -hmm. won't it? I love that. Um, okay, this is limited edition Toffee Fee white chocolate, which I love white chocolate. These are Milka Waffleini. Um, Milka Waffleini. 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find. These are must be from directly from Germany. Oh, here we go. Wafer filled with cream filling and covered with Alpine milk chocolate. So this is one that Maria has not said. <laughs> so thank well, she you. Hasn't found it. Yeah, I know, right? Um, this is a new Nestle Kit Kat milk chalk chunk cookie inspired by Byron Bay cookies. And this is Kit Kat Chunky Caramel. I'm so excited. Uh, you sent so many great things here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these, are they all different? Okay, no, these two are the, oh, okay, okay, I got it. There's two and two. There is a Cadbury Caramel Flavor Twirl Bar, and that's limited edition. And then these are Cadbury Twirl Caramel. And then we have two of each of those. And then, oh, I see mystery bars. There is a number one and number two. Dare, uh, Cadbury Dairy Milk Mystery Bar. Milk chocolate with a mystery flavor filling. So we've got a bar one and bar two. So I guess we get to try to guess the flavor. The bad thing is it's gonna be something British. Yeah, you know, like all the British clotted flavor. cream or uh, sticky toffee pudding or, you know, so so I don't know, you know, we'll, we'll see what we guess. We'll see what it is. I'm so excited though. Um, the, yes, I've seen, I've already seen what these are. Dr. J sent me pictures on Facebook, and this is a, this is a, yes, he sent me a Christmas ornament. This is from the You Are Here collection. Uh, this is the Scotland cup. I'll show you these close up, and this is the St. Andrew's cup. So, St. Andrews. Saint Andrews uh, so he lives in either Scotland or St. Andrews, one he, of the two places. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is the Scotland. Uh, oh. It's that's okay. It it go it just goes through yeah. like this. And so another ornament for my tree. And I'm getting excited because as we get closer, because at the end of uh, last year, was it after Christmas? We bought that tree? No, we had it up last year. We put it up, we had two trees last year, remember? Did we have it up last year? We had two trees. No, I remember having One two tree, trees. One tree, two men. No, 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 I remember having two trees. I don't remember having that specific tree. Yeah. The flocked one? I swear I just oh, maybe don't. We don't have I swear the I just. The big one, the tall one? Uh huh. We probably did, and I just yeah, literally. The big tall one, I think. No, 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 no. We had. I thought we had our one in the living room, and then our old one in the den, and I told Jennifer she could have that old green one. And we bought a flocked one to, to put, put in there in the this okay. year. To replace our old one. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's true. We still had two trees last year. We had two trees. We had last the big year. one, the new big one. Yes, last year. but then we had the old one. You bought a flock tree, I and then we bought a flock tree. tree. Yeah, yeah, we bought a flock. Was it? It was after Christmas on sale. Like I don't. At home? Now you're making me doubt it. It's like, did we have that flock I tree up in the den? You know what? We <laughs> we might have because that old tree was falling apart. It was falling apart. And, and I told I'm you. I'm thinking we did because it seemed like I remember pulling it out and getting the white stuff. And then having the vacuum, and, and vacuum under it. it. Seems like we did. We probably did. We'll have to look at your videos. Well, guess what? <laughs> we if we have, we've only had it up once, yeah. and so it's like I'm getting excited to pull this Christmas stuff out. And we we may have, I don't know, but I'm excited about it nonetheless. But these are both for Scotland. This is for St Andrews. Um, Thank you so much uh, to Dr. J. He, uh, he let me know that he was sending these cups and he reached out to me and said, hey, is there anything uh, while I'm mailing these cups that you would like to try? 
And that is a very, very generous or mm -hmm. generous of him. The shipping's expensive. Yes, and he actually said that he got the, the number, the shipping uh, number, and he said it worked. He said it actually worked because sometimes once it leaves the country, it, it's you can't follow it anymore. It actually kept working all the way here. And he sometimes was, it does, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, and he was able to tell me, hey, it's in your P.O. box. So um, I'm so glad and grateful, and you found so many awesome things. So it will probably be, just so everyone knows, because I know uh, people uh, get excited to see the British stuff, it will probably be uh, a couple weeks before you start to see this stuff, just because... I have a lot of videos coming up. We'll see. It might not be too that long. It might just be another a week. Uh, but I do know that uh, we've got a lot of videos coming up. But hopefully you all look forward to these. And I will show you these pictures up close. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here, but I wanted to show you what I made for dinner. I made this for the first time. This actually did a video on YouTube uh, like two years ago. Uh, the video is called Chicken Parmesan Sandwich with Pesto, Garlic Aioli, and a bals Balsamic Reduction. And she always makes this and puts it on a sandwich. We have a place to eat around here called Carson's. They make this sandwich, and it's absolutely fantastic. But Kevin and I wanted it without the bread. So I made all of this for the first time uh, by myself today. This is the aioli. And it looks really good. And normally, you like I said, you would put this on a, a great big, uh, like a brioche bun. And then I made the pesto by myself, which is here. I've had it in the refrigerator, so it's a little thick. But then I did the balsamic reduction. And uh, so that ta that takes about a half an hour. Ashley did not say in her video like how long it takes. It takes about a half an hour, a good full half hour to reduce this. But anyway, this is going to be our dinner tonight. And um, I'm just very pleased with myself that I was able to pull this off.